Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inside South Florida. Jason Carter here, excited to be here with you guys today and excited for today's show because up first, the 4400 is premiering tonight on The CW and it is a reimagination of the classic show centered around the sudden disappearance of 4400 people and their sudden reappearance in a world that has vastly changed close to 20 years later. Two of the stars of the show, Brittany Debbie Mola and Joseph David Jones, join us this morning. I'm glad to see all this Black excellence on TV this morning. Uh, I mean, we're the, the melanin is popping. Yes. Uh, yeah. so, 4400. It's back. It's been reimagined for 2021. I was a huge fan of the of the original iteration. Were you guys fans of the original before you um, came on board? Yes, I, I was. I watched it like week after week with my family, and then they left it on the cliffhanger. And you know, I was wondering for years what happened, but now here we are. We're reimagining it. We're bringing it back. And it's going to be big and better than ever. Brittany, tell us about your character, Shanice. Yeah, my character, Shanice, is a very driven, focused lawyer from the year 2005. She's from Detroit. Um, uh, she is a wife and she's a new mom to her four month old daughter. And uh, initially, we sort of see her uh, trying to juggle being a career woman while also being, you know, a new mom and grappling with the sacrifice that trying to juggle those two sort of uh, entails. And then she's on her way to work, first day back after maternity leave, she gets snatched. Suddenly she's in Detroit, 2021, and she's like, what? She comes to find out that her daughter is 16 years old and she has missed out on 16 years of her daughter's life. Her family has moved on, her, her husband is remarried and she is fighting to, to reconnect with her family while also fighting on behalf of the 4400 to, uh, set them sort of free and, and and humanize them in the eyes of the government. Joseph, you play a social worker, Jerome Mateo. How does the character wrap his head around this unexplained phenomenon and then come to terms with the reality that, hey, 4,400 people have just magically reappeared in Detroit and you have to sift through all of that? Yes, and I think like from Jarrell's perspective, you're gonna get to see a lot of our world on the outside looking in how their perspective is for these 4,400. Because it is something supernatural. It's something incredibly crazy. But there's a lot at stake for Jarrell too within working with these 4,400 people because his brother also went missing under the same sort of circumstances. So there's been a lot of mystery in his life, just what happened to him. And that's been the most important person in his life. So his life sort of fell apart after that happened. So he's looking at these 4,400 people as like his last sort of hope or opportunity to find his brother, to see what happened to him and to hopefully like get him back. Yeah. Uh, Brittany, you know, this show, like I said earlier, is very nuanced in that we have people who are from marginalized groups, um, the disenfranchised, the unseen, who disappeared and now they're back in a new world that isn't any better than when they left it. And I mean, art imitating life. How is this show shining a light on what's happening in our world now? How is that being weaved into the storylines? I mean, I think what what also sets the, the, the reboot apart from the original series is that we get to sort of look at, examine our present day society um, through the eyes of these characters who are from you know, 1920s, 30s, 50s, 60s. So we can really see how much has changed um, and then also how much hasn't changed. So I just think it's a really great way for us to sort of reflect on just how much further we have have to go. And what, you know, the things that we, we should celebrate, but also what we need to push, push more. <laughs>